What's going on guys, it's your boy Ooch, and today I wanted to update you guys on the Dragon Ball Super Card game, and I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but I'm mentioning it now. There is a way to play the game a little early for those that are interested if you want to get your hands on it and test it out for yourself. There is a way to play it via online, however you do need a computer, and I'm not specifically sure if this will work for Mac or Linux. This is a tutorial for the windows version now i just wanted to show you guys exactly what you're going to be doing you're going to be going to the octgn.net website this is going to be the client the provider of the game so you're going to click on download for microsoft windows and the download should just begin uh, automatically it shouldn't take too long either since it's not that big of a file all right and then you want to hit run once it pops up you can allow this you can leave you know the start menu shortcuts and launch it after it's done to install and you just gotta wait for it to do its thing obviously all right and now this is where if you are using wine for those mac um or linux users this might be your shot to use it i'm not sure what this will do if you say yes but since this is a windows tutorial i will be saying no all right, and then once that happens, then your octagon, I would like to call it, since I'm pretty sure that's what it is, will open and obviously allow access. So that way it'll actually open without any issues. And then agree by saying yes, and then here it is. Um, also, you can close this afterwards. You're going to want to register. So register by simply going to the website. If you go right over here and just hit register up there, it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this. It's very simple. Just username, password, confirm that, John, and then the email as well. And prove that you're not a robot and agree to all the terms and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and log in myself. I'm not going to be showing you what the game looks like per se but i'm just going you know this tutorial is to show you guys how to get yourself started okay so next what you want to do is you want to go over to where it says games manager all right and then right here if you scroll down you can see all the different types of card games that they have to offer so what you want to do is you want to hit game feed and then with the link provided in the description which will be this you want to just copy that and paste it into the feed URL path here. And then you can call it Dragon Ball Super Card Game. So you can just differentiate it from anything else. You don't need a username, you don't need a password, and just hit add. And then what it's going to do is it's going to pull the game, the actual game from the link. And then you're going to hit the drop down right here where it says all. And then you're going to go over down to where it says Dragon Ball Super Card Game. And then it'll open up these three. Now these are the old uh, Dragon Ball Z trading card games that existed a while ago. Um, I think one of them is actually still in existence. And by existence I mean you'll find some of the packs at like GameStops and stuff like that. But I don't really know if anyone actually plays those games. And what you want to do is obviously you're going to pick the Dragon Ball Super Patch Testing. Because this is not the full version. This is obviously a patch but it plays very well i didn't get a chance to play a game with someone that was helping me set this up initially and hit install all right so now that it's installed we want to add the image pack so without the image packs all the cards are not going to have their graphics and text and whatnot so next you want to install the image by hitting add image packs and you want to simply hit over to the link that I also provided by opening it up and then going down to where it says Dragon Ball Super 07. You want to click that and then you want to just save it wherever you want to save it at. All right, now that it's saved, you want to go and retrieve it. And then once that's finished, you guys are literally all set to play. All right, once you get that notification, then you are good to go. So, of course, after this, you are all set to play. Now you just need to find yourself an opponent. Once I get to deck building my own stuff, I'll show you exactly how that works. 
I haven't really messed with that, so that's why I'm not showing you this tutorial because this tutorial is specifically for just getting yourself set up with the game. But if you know, just for a quick starter on that, just to get a little heads up, you have to simply just go to player spectate. You can check that so you can hide all the uninstalled stuff. And uh, and someone's actually playing it right there, so you can just click on their room and join it. Now, as far as having a deck, I will also include a link for you guys to have something to start if you want to kind of just jump in with a friend. If you want to jump in with me, just join my Discord so that way I can try to show you guys how to play the game from my understanding. I have been playing it by other means. I do have the Dragon Ball Super Card Game app that was a Japanese exclusive, except it's somehow on the North American store. And it's still in all in Japanese, and I have been just playing against the, the computer tutorial on that just to kind of get a grasp of the flow of the game. And I will say that it is very easy, and it's very fast-paced as, as, you know, as well. Just let me know what you guys think about the tutorial. If there's any questions, just please let me know in the comments below. Or you can just tweet at me, or just join my Discord, especially on the Discord, to reach me directly. And I probably most likely will be streaming this soon. So go ahead and download the starter deck and I'll see you guys next time.